Why is he telling us all these things? Yes, every year is different from any other year, but our God is a good God. He prepared you and me. You prepared you and I into this journey we are in to be with the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm saying to us this morning, as we continue in our lockdown situations, God has got something for you and I. As we continue in the lockdown, there was a reason for him to write to the church of Philippians. Something was happening in the church. So he wrote a letter when he was in prison. Let's go into our readings, the scriptures of our day to days. Philippians chapter 2 from verse 1 to 5. That's where I will hang up my... Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will read. Therefore, fill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through selfishness, through selfish ambition and content, but in the lawlessness of mind, let, let each esteem, let each esteem another better than you himself. Let each of you make out not only for your own interest, but also for the interest of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. That's verse number five. In other visions, it should, which was in Jesus Christ, be in you. In the other one, it says, think yourselves the way Christ Jesus, Jesus did. Apostle Paul was addressing to the church of Philippians that let this mind which was in Christ Jesus be in you. Because he had seen that the mind of people were thinking of other things. Hallelujah. He said, let this mind of Christ be in you. You must have the same mind with your brother in Christ. You must have the same mind with the mind of your sister in Christ. There are a lot of minds in people. There are people with small minds. Hallelujah. There are people with small minds. Their minds discusses people. Their mind discusses events. Let's read what Baba, our father, the seventh apostle of God said in this book. Do you know what to know when people, what to expect when people come to church? He said in this book, people, people come to church expecting their needs to be met. It is exactly the same way when the multitude came to Jesus. They did, not seek to, they did not come to seek going to heaven, but to have their needs to be met. Let's go and hear what he says about the, the wrong friends. Hallelujah. Then we go on again on the top of mind. Who caused things to happen? Who caused things to take place? Who caused things to happen in your life? Who caused things to happen in the church? Who caused things to happen in the home group? Those are the people with sound mind. Hallelujah. We go on. We have people with sober mind. The people who've got a mind of seeing things which are not all right in the house of God. The people who put things right in the house of God. And then we go on. We have people with a humble and obeying mind. Our father goes and says, They are people, they become bad, good. Bad people, bad people, they become good. That's why I believe that people need to be taught the purpose of the church. There are people who come to church with a bad mind, with a small mind, but when they meet a person with an obeying mind, a humble mind, he teaches them to be good. He makes them to be better people. He goes on again and say, there are people with secure mind. Those are the people with mind which is secure, especially against any attack. There are people who see things happening. 
there are people who are ready to change situations in the house of God. And there are people with sober mind. They need to know what God wants to listen, what God is doing through you. Do you think someone can come to the Lord because of you? What type of attitude do you have as a child of God? Do you think your attitude can make your next door neighbor come to the Lord? Think for yourself. Do you think your attitude can cause one of your community members to come and be fellowship with you in your church? I'm saying to us this morning, brothers and sisters, let this mind be, let this mind which was in Christ be in us, for us to be better people, for us to be a better church, for us to cause things to happen. You may have spiritual gifts, yes, but Paul is saying to the saints in the church of Philippians, let your spirit. If you have a mind of Christ, you will be there for a brother. If you have a mind of Christ, you will be there for a sister. I'm saying to us this morning as the children of God, in this time we are in right now, we spend more time in our families. We spend more time enclosed in our homes. We spend more time with our children. We spend more time with our wives. What type of attitude are you showing to these people? What type of attitude are you showing to your children? What type of attitude are you showing to your wife, to your husband? Let me tell you something. I was talking to my son one day, trying to help him. I thought I was talking to him nicely. I'm saying to us this morning, children of God, our attitude must change. When we speak to someone, we must be able to control our tempers. We must try to identify who we are in Christ. Our mind must be aligned to Jesus Christ. We must be self-controlled. Our father tells us a story to say, when we talk of self-control, we are saying you are in need of using a bathroom. You don't just use it wherever you are. Then we are in. We need to have the mind of Christ to be able to control ourselves. When you speak to a brother, when you speak to a sister, when you speak to a ch your child, find a way which is amicable to both of you. Speak good, speak with, co control yourself, control your temper so that you show you are, you have got a mind of Christ. Hallelujah. Our father continues teaching us, we must you and me fellowship when we don't have the mind of Christ. You and me, we can fellowship to each other when we have the mind of Christ in us. You and me, we can fellowship better with one another when we have a mind of Christ. You and me can visit a brother and speak. Hallelujah. When you visit your sister, what conversation do you put on the table? When with, you are with your wife and your children, you must be sweet. That's he said, we need to be strong like never before. We need to be right with our God. Now we are with our children. We are homeschooling with our children. There are things which we don't understand. It's the curriculum of the school in Australia with our children. If you don't understand, pick up a phone call. He's preparing a church to grow. He's, he's putting us in a warm way by we must be in one accord every time. Spending a time with your children, who we'll normally see them probably for three hours or four hours a day is not an easy thing. But I'm saying to pick whatever you want to pick. You don't just go around anyhow. Why has God done that? He has put you and me so that we are able to put, thing, put things right with the word of God. Why? Our fathers keep only saying, read the word of God. Pray. It has been difficult for us to be doing it. But now we don't have an excuse. We are spending all the time at home. You must have a Bible everywhere you are. You must have your Bible on audio. 
whereby we, when you are doing washing your dishes, you'll be listening to the word of God. Doing whatever you're doing, listen to the word of God. That's the only thing which can cause you to have a mind of Christ. The moment you start reading the word of God, the moment you start to pray more, the things, the mind of Christ will start residing in you. Because we've been busy with excuses. The pastor calls for a prayer meeting. He calls for a service. We are busy. Yes, we've got, we are busy. We are running. We, you say, the pastor does not understand the type of life in this nation. We are so busy. But before, we would have been cleaned up. The moment we start feeding the word of God, the moment we're reading the word of God and praying more, there is something coming out of your system. You start behaving. You'll be starting speaking like a child of God, because you would have been offloading bad things by reading the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Our lives must be doing God's will. As it says in Matthew chapter number six, verse 10, nine to 10, we, the will of God, that means we give, it means we are behaving according to the word of God. We are behaving according to the will of God because we are different. We are the children of God. God has picked us from the dungeon and cleaned us and make us better people. So now he has made us better people. We are now supposed to think like him. We are now supposed to think better than any other way. He picked me from the dungeon and cleaned me and make me a better person and make me a better 2020 is a year which is different from any other year. God has said 2020 is the year which is different from any other year. You know, when this letter came through, one of my friends in Zimbabwe called me. He doesn't fellowship in, with us. He said, I saw a letter written by I said, Apostle 7. He's not a child of this ministry. He said, I'm scared about that letter. That was in, this, in, in January, the first week of January. He said, I'm scared what the men of God wrote we saw different other men of God writing whatever they were writing. But we, the men we believe in, said to us, put your things together. He, our father could not explain. He told us that I cannot explain. I don't know what is in this year. But up to now, you and me, we have seen the superpowers in the world. They don't know what is happening. They are in the year, the month number four. They are confused. But we have a man in our midst. We have a man who is running this ministry with us. We have a father who God speaks to. We have a man who God appointed. We've got a man who God gave a vision. A man who said, who God said, fear not and sin not. This is the man who is writing to us every year in and out, warning us as we go into the year, the warning we received. Now I'm saying to us, the children of God, the forward and faith family, for us to stand right with God, our Father continuing comforting us and say, we spoke in the 10 days later. Continue to pray and read the word of God. I'm saying to us, our Father is saying, as we read the word of God, as we continue to pray, the mind of Christ will start manifesting in our lives. Things will start happening in our lives. There's going to be a relationship with families restoring in our families. Things are going to be happening each and every day. I'm saying to us, this is the time, oh God, where God is transforming and renewing our minds. God is transforming and renewing our minds. That may prove that we are, are good, going to be good and acceptable and perfect children of God. God is performing a, a surgery on us. There is a, 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 we are spending more time with our families. How are you spending time with your family? I might ask a question. Are you spending time sleeping on your, the other side of the room or you are together with your children? This is a quality time for you and I. This is a quality time for you and I to have the same mind with Christ. When you start reading the word of God, you have quality time with Christ. 
I'm saying to us, we have got a lot of ample time in our hands right now. You are there to make a choice, to choose what you want to spend time doing. Our Father is saying, spend the time reading the word of God and prayer. You might decide to spend, of word of, spend time looking for each and every social media of what is happening in different churches. But I'm saying to us, prepare yourself as a child of God. Careful type of life. When you are going, doing your exercising, listen to the word of God. When you are doing whatever you are doing, listen to the word of God. That alone will transform your mind. That alone will transform your attitude. Your attitude towards every other thing will be different. When you go to your workplace, when things go back to normal, people must see a changed Amos. People must see a changed wife. People must see a child, a changed young, young generation, a changed youth. Because God is operating, is, we are in the operating theater right now for bad things to come out of us. Hallelujah. How can you do that? Philippians chapter 2, verse number 12 and 13 says, chapter 12 says, but I want you to know, brother, brethren, that the things which happened to me if actually turned, turned out in furtherance of the gospel so that it becomes evident to the whole blessing guide and to all the rest of the chains of Christ. What happened to us right now as we change, as we have the mind of Christ, it will start manufacturing the way we do things, the way I will be speaking. When I meet with brothers and sisters, the, I will show purity in me. I will show compassionate in me because I have the mind of Christ. When I see a brother in need, I will make a step. Verse 16. After all, we have the mind of Christ. You don't just happen to have the mind of Christ, but you apply to have the mind of Christ. How do you apply to have the mind of Christ? By continuing seeking him day and night. By continuing for a moment and confess and confess, consider that the hardest word for you to say to someone when you are wrong is to say, I am sorry. As a Christian, when you are wrong, forgive. When someone has wronged you, forgive him. That shows that you have the mind of Christ. When you feel that you have done something wrong, ask for forgiveness from a brother. Hallelujah. Asking, saying sorry does not necessarily mean that you have lost or demoted yourself or stepped down in a relationship. As a child of God, you must learn to know what is right and what is wrong. And you must learn to say, I am sorry. That shows that you have the mind of Christ in you. You must be able to say, to think and turn around for a moment and forgive people who have wronged you. Why is it so hard for you, my brother and my sister, to forgive those who have wronged you? If you have the mind of Christ, I'm saying to us this morning, for us to be a healthy church, for us to be a, health, be a healthy family, we must be able to forgive. Why the word of saying sorry is rarely spoken by a child of God. Is it because you feel you have lost the right to hold the other person under our judgment? As a child of God, what you need, my brother and my sister, this morning is to adopt the mind of Christ by admitting that you need help. You need help. And the different attitude will come through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He died immersed in water, baptized. You were being planted in the mind of Christ. I'm saying to us this morning, as the church of God, we need to have the mind of Christ.
first, Christians must have mind transplant, the mind of Christ to replace our old sinful mind for us to continue to be a better people of God. The kingdom of God is the word of God and the prayer for all who find things. It's time to pick up what we have missed out all these other years. 2020 is the year which we need to pick up what we missed out on all those other years. Our father writes in this book, local church, he goes and says, a healthy church. The healthy church must, the, 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 the church must offer something which cannot be, we cannot be God somewhere. The church grows by the power of God through much prayer. The church grows through fellowship and love. We hear our father talked about fellowship and love. The church becomes strong through fellowship and love. When we fellowship together, when we love one another, oh yes, yeah, someone might be saying, elder, there's no way we can fellowship because there's a lockdown. Pick up a phone and the fellowship with your brother. It's a fellowship. Hallelujah. The church becomes strong through fellowship and unity. I'm saying to us this morning, children of God, we must change. The, if we want the church to grow, the church grows and becomes stronger by the power of God through wisdom. Then our father goes in and said, the method can change in each generation, but the message does not change. If, someone might be saying, Elder, what you're talking about is for the people of the 50s and the 60s. Yes, but our father goes and said, the method for the youth, you guys, the method for the young generation, you guys, the method for the older generation like me does not change. Hallelujah. It does not change. Our father continues again and said, needs for people in the church love to be accepted, to be cheered up, to be nursed in prayer, to be counseled in their problems, to be taught persistence fall up, to be treated as an individual, to identify with them, eat the food they eat, sit where they sit, to be visited, especially when the, when the sick and the dead. Do something this morning, brothers and sisters. If you don't have a mind of Christ, how can I tell, how can I pour out my life to you? If you don't have the mind of Christ, how can I be confident in sharing certain things with you? I'm saying to us this morning, as we continue in these days we are in right now, let's seek the mind of Christ. Let's pour ourselves to be the children of God. Let's extend and change our situations. Let's extend and change who we are in Christ. Let's go in and say, God help me and for my sins. I'm saying to us this morning, if I want to be a better Christian, I want to be a better father, I want to be a better child, I want to be a better wife, I need the mind of Christ in me. I'm saying to us this morning as the children of God, we need the mind of Christ in us. I'm saying to us this morning, as we sit in our homes, as we are helping our children in homeschooling, which I don't know how to do it, but now what I need is the mind of Christ. I, when they've done their syllabuses, you now sit down with them and read the word of God with them so that you can impart something in them. I'm saying to us this morning, as the children of God, we are in a journey. We are in a journey, a journey which those people who have good intellectuals have failed. We have a man in our midst, in our midst. the apostle and servant of God, Dr. Ezekiel, our father. Whenever he teaches us something, I'm saying to us, I'm appealing to my brothers and sisters this morning, let's listen to this him. morning. 
I was a sinner. God changed me. I can testify and say, as I conclude, I am a changed husband. I am a changed father. I am a changed believer. I am saying to us this morning, the God of our father Ezekiel, I am one of the products which he changed. I am one of those people who God changed and make me a better man. I'm saying to us this morning, this God is able. This God is able. I'm saying to you who is watching, Father, I thank you this morning. I glorify your holy name. I say, oh God, the God of Ezekiel, the God of the universe, who change them, oh God. I pray and say, Father God, give them the zeal to read your word. I pray, Father God, give them the zeal to pray to you, oh God, because you are the only person, oh God, who can change any situation. You changed my situation, oh God. You made, you gave me a name, oh God. I pray and say, Father God, in Jesus, this time, oh God, of fellowshipping with you in our homes, oh God. I say, Father, give us sweet spirit, oh God. Give us oneness, oh God. Help us to be a, a family, oh God. Help us, Father, to have attitudes, oh God, which will please you, oh Father. I thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. If you are 